Starting, we're going to open UniHub, ensuring that it's version 3.2. If you are new to Unity, a download link to UniHub is available in the description below. First, we're going to click New Project. From here, we're going to ensure that the editor version is 2021.3 LTS. And then we're going to select 2D from the template list. We're going to name our project and simply click create project. Now that we have our project, click window in the top menu, selecting package manager, go heading over to packages in project and selecting unity registry. You're going to navigate down to input system and click install. Clicking yes, so Uni can do its thing. Time for a bit of coding. Right click in our project window, heading over to create and click C sharp script. From there, we're going to rename the script to game manager. We're going to open it. From here, create a static variable called public static game manager instance. This is so we can use the game manager anywhere in the scene via its instance. Next, Remove the update method and rename start to awake. This is so we can create a condition that checks if there's already an instance of game manager. If one does exist, then this duplicate will just destroy itself. Coming back to Unity, we want to import our sprite sheet. I left a link to the default sprite sheet in the description. And once imported, select it in the project window within the assets folder. From there, we're going to head over to the inspector and do the following. We're going to set sprite mode to multiple, pixels per unit to 10, filter mode to points, its max size to 512, and compression to high quality. We're going to then click apply and proceed over to sprite editor. Here, we're going to go to slice in its top menu, change its type to grid by cell size and change the pixel sizes for X and Y to 10. Click slice and click apply and then close the sprite editor window. Next, select the main camera game object within the hierarchy and then in the inspector, simply set the size on the camera component to 10. This way, we have a better view of our soon to be roguelike map. Finally, while we are done, we can still get a bit of street cred. So let's turn our project into a repository and publish it on GitHub. I'll leave a link to a previous video I created on that subject. So simply put, open GitHub desktop, click file, new repository. We're now going to name our repository, give it a short description, select the folder where it's located. And in the git ignore list, we're going to select unity. Then click Create Repository before finally clicking Publish Repository. And with that, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to follow along with this series. See you in the next one.